why I don't believe in emotional eating. This is going to be a very controversial um, idea or topic, but again, this is just my opinion. Everybody has a different opinion. I'm kind of coming from it from a um, for the perspective of I had an eating disorder and um, I fell into the emotional um, the emotional um, eating scale, the hunger scales, all of that stuff that came from workbooks for from you know about people who talked about intuitive eating and normal eating and stuff like that. Um, I don't believe in emotional eating. I think when you allow yourself to eat with unconditional permission, you kind of by default don't aspire to have those like to eat unnecessarily because your body just doesn't want to again this is just my opinion um take that as you will i always encourage you guys to do like do your research and, and just get different opinions about things but i am not a certified even sort of recovery coach or a nutritionist or anything like that i'm honestly just giving you my perspective um an opinion of what worked for me i had to let go of the whole like emotional eating ideas and like the hunger scales and rate how satisfied you are for between one and ten i find that to just focus on the problem to overthink the process and i didn't want the ideal version of myself i envisioned would just eat and stop eating when she was done and then move on with her life like it, it's really as simple as taking a shower or going to the bathroom like that's how i wanted my approach to food to be like um so I once I honestly let go of all of that um I was honestly when I was able to fully recover and I'm able to kind of just eat when I'm hungry and stop when I'm full and not even think about it think about it or overthink it I, I don't believe in emotional eating because again I just feel like when you are truly eating un with unconditional permission your body just will tell will cue you when to eat and when not to eat also everybody emotionally eats whether you're naturally thin whether you've never had any sort of whatever whatever everybody emotionally eats there's times when you know i kind of just hop on a movie and i'm like oh i can go for some ice cream or some popcorn or stuff like that not be necessarily hungry but just it would hit the spot but it's not that deep it's not that complicated um i that's just my opinion i think when i fell into the emotional eating like am i emotionally eating now oh my gosh i'm not hungry i'm i'm at a five hunger scale i should be at a seven like it's too much and then that in and of itself would stress me out um and i would panic when i would eat and i would think like it's just don't fall i guess what i'm trying to say is don't fall into the emotional eating trap in my humble opinion don't fall into it just allow the process to be let that let the labels about emotional eating intuitive hunger scales all of that let that just go and just eat literally just eat it's not that hard eating should be as easy and as simple as breathing as going to the bathroom as sleeping like it's just a body a biological thing that you have to do um and don't overthink it <laughs> i don't believe in emotional eating but again everybody has a different opinion this is just mine i i, I mean i'll be very honest with you and again this is just me um but when like for example when i was going through a heartbreak i didn't eat and i'm not encouraging you not to eat either but i'm saying like when i'm just my emotions are very heightened i lose all sense of wanting um, to eat and i lose all sense of an appetite because my emotions are just so heightened whether it be the adrenaline whether it be just feeling sad um panic nervousness anxiety whatever it is i just don't it's just that's just how it is that's just how my body is but again don't get so caught up with emotional eating and those labels just eat it's just that simple just eat i hope this helps let me know what you guys think